for me, all music is meant to induce a transformative experience upon the listener. And whether it's philosophical, moral, religious, um, Eucharistic, it's, um, I don't want uh, to write wallpaper and I don't want somebody just to have something to waft over them while they're cutting onions or whatever <laughs> at home, you know? Um, so to me, I, I want it to be life-changing. And in a Gloria in a mass setting can, can do that. And, and it doesn't even necessarily need to be like the Nicene Creed of, you know, Roman Catholicism, but it has to be something that um, transforms the soul into, um, you know, trying uh, to make this world just a better place. And, and I really do believe that that's a sort of a moral responsibility to some extent of the compositional craft and the performative craft as well. So to me, transforming people is, is a common thread through all of what I write. performing a sacred piece in a secular setting, let's say I'm doing Missa Solemnis at the Kennedy Center, then for me that's, I just go to see what, you know, in the same way that it, I try to be the best composer's advocate I can and I interpret the work and I interpret it theatrically because I tend to do that with everything. But in a, um, in a similar situation if I were to do a sacred work, in a liturgical setting, I tend to downplay um, my physical performance. And I do that to draw more focus to the specific theater of the liturgy and not the theater of me as performer. You know, so it's in the, um, in the concert world, there is the expectation of the conductor as the focuser of events. Um, and I have to fight against that sometimes in a church experience. My, I guess my definition of sacred is, is so liquid that I think I'm able to do as you suggest and, and sort of um, interpret everything in that direction in the same way that I think I see everything as theater as well, um, of just how action follows action and produces some kind of response or result.